Hello again, my name is Tomasz. Welcome to Skyline Boardroom TV. It's very nice to have you back. Today's subject will be the lowering action. We will go through how to lower correctly in ballroom dancing, then we will go what types of lowering we have and we'll go through lowering from the, uh, with the forward step and lowering with the backward step. So, what is lowering? Well, there is no strict definition in any of the books about the ballroom technique, but basically what it means is the change of level of the whole body line, which is from the hips to your head, but still maintaining it uh, in a vertical alignment in relation to the floor. So, in that example, that will be a correct rise and fall or lowering at the moment, and that would be incorrect lowering, right? Whether it goes forward, backward, or sides, you can clearly see that my alignment of my posture or body line to the floor is changing, and therefore we will experience many problems in a couple. The first thing we will do uh, in order to improve your lowering is to go through very simple exercise that will uh, show you whether you do lower correctly or incorrectly. I will do it first facing the camera, then I will do it sideways so you see my posture line much better. So I will put my feet together, I will put my arms to the side, and then I will go on my toes, and when I lower, I will try to first put my heels on the floor and then relax my knees, go to the lowest possible uh, level, let's say, uh, that I still do not lift my heels up and my full foot is on the floor, and then I will go up on my knees and up on my toes. And I will do it two more times, and feet, knees, knees, feet, feet, knees, and knees, feet. Now, when I do it sideways, the same thing happens, and please notice that my postural line doesn't break or change. So when I go up on the toes, it's still vertical to the floor, when I lower, it's vertical to the floor, and I can do it over and over again, but my postural line does not change the level, uh, sorry, does not change the alignment. So let's discuss the lowering from feet together and going forward. I will be sideways so it's easier to see. I'm going on two toes. Now, my knees are still, let's say, relaxed. They're not straight, but they're not bent. They're just relaxed. I am standing on my left, foot, I can lift my right foot up. Now the first thing I will do is I will lower my left heel. Now I will do it in a very soft and cushioning way. The second thing I will do is I will straight away when my heel touches the floor, I will relax and soften my knee. Now notice when I relax and soften my knee, my weight and body line doesn't go just down, it goes already in the direction of the next step, which means if I'm going forward, my shin bone and my whole body line will start lowering and moving me forward to the first driving step. Of course, if I do the same on the right foot, I will first lower the right heel, then I will relax my right knee that will already start moving me forward, and only then I will start driving across. Now, it's very important to notice two things. First of all, I think in general, there is no place in ballroom dancing that we just lower and then move. It's usually a blend of two. So we'll usually lower and move into some direction. Uh, second thing what we have to notice is that after we lower, 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 I would say un until that moment we lower, and from that moment on, we only go across and there won't be any more lowering. What is very often uh, that you can see is that we lower, 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 right? Now from this moment, it will be very difficult for you to rise and also it will put a lot of pressure on your knees. So of course we want to do it to our maximum. So we want to lower as much as we can until that moment where we're already going a little forward, but 
we still haven't taken the step. And now, because we have a very nice angles in our uh, joints, we can move forward and make a very nice big step. So let's do the same backward. I will again stand sideways so you see better. I will be standing on my left foot. The first thing I want to do is lower my left heel. Now the moment my left heel touches the floor, I will start relaxing my knee forward, but in the same time I will be taking my whole postural line backward. And that's the biggest difference between the forward and backward steps. That my knee still has to be traveling forward, but my postural line will be moving already backward. So notice I am not lowering in a spot. I am already progressing into the direction of the movement. And now I can take the step across and finish the step. Okay? Of course, the same will happen on my right, is doing that on my right foot. So I will lower my right heel, bend my right knee forward, but move my right hip and the body backward. And now when I arrive to the maximum moment, I move the body across and I finish the step. Second possibility of lowering is from the open leg position or open feet position or from 50-50 position. So basically, whenever your feet are passing, again, I will be standing sideways so it's easier to see. Now my right foot will be forward. And it's very important to notice that I can only start lowering when I'm exactly in the mid weight between my feet, which means uh, if I favor my front foot and I'm going forward, the lowering will be very difficult. If I favored my back leg, well, I'm not, still, I'm not yet on my right foot, so it will be very difficult to use it to lower. So again, my right foot will be forward. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to use my shin bone to start moving my body forward and down. So it's not just forward and definitely not just down. Okay, so I'm going diagonally down. Now that is the lowest moment when my feet are together that I can achieve. From that moment, I can only move across. Okay? If I do it from the left foot forward, of course, we'll do the same thing. So the first thing from 50-50 position, I want to start relaxing my left knee, moving my shin bone closer to the floor. I arrive to the, my, my maximum position, sorry, my maximum lowering, and only from here, I can start going forward across the floor. The same thing, of course, will happen backward, but remember, your knees only bend one way, lucky for all of us, and we have to keep bending them forward. So my right foot now will be backward. The first thing I will do is I will start softening the right knee. Notice that my right heel is still up. I cannot drop it too early because that will cause me to lose my body line. So I'm relaxing my right knee. I'm putting my heel down in the end just to really make it soft. I arrive at my maximum moment, my maximum lowering when my feet are together, and only then I'm taking the step backward. Of course, it will be the same from the other leg. So now my left foot will be backward. I will first soften my left knee, then I will arrive to the, my maximum position, maximum lowering when my feet are together, and now I'm driving backward to finish the driving step. Few common mistakes. Whether you go forward or backward with, from the 50-50 uh, position, you have to remember that yes, the knees are getting softer, but straight away when, when that happens, we start bringing the other foot towards to close, which means that when I go forward, I will start softening my right foot with, when I'm standing with my right foot forward, sorry, my right knee, and straight away my left foot will be brought underneath my body. It's very common that we leave that foot behind for too long and notice that now my postural line is getting changed and now will be attacking my partner, okay? Of course, the same thing can happen backward. Uh, so remember that I'm softening the knee, but then I'm bringing the foot underneath my body. It's very important, otherwise it will be almost impossible to lower correctly. And the timing of it should be that your foot is getting closed to your other foot exactly when your weight is fully on your left foot. So not too 
early and not too late. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you learned something and you can now apply it a little in your dancing. Because remember, you should go through every single figure having in mind how to lower, what's the timing, and what possibility of lowering you have, whether it's from closed feet position or from open feet position. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe because we will post regularly. Thank you for tonight and I will see you in the next one. Bye.